Morning everyone, welcome back to another video. We are back on the extension build and today I'm going to be doing some undercoating, uh, watered down undercoat, I'll show you and explain what that is. Also we're going to try and get the external drainage done which is the uh, the gullies for the guttering and all that and connect that up to this sewer system. So that's the two, two jobs we're gonna be doing today. So I'm gonna be starting on the undercoated and prepping on the inside. MJ is gonna start digging the trench for the pipe, uh, exposing that area so that we can um, connect that up as well today. Then once that's connected, then our guttering can go on. So hopefully we're gonna get that done today. Um, and let's show you what we did last week. And um, yeah, let's crack on. Yeah guys, so this is what it's looking like. As you can see, it is drying out here nicely. Um, the undercoat that I'm going to be using down is going to be quite a watered down paint so the plaster is going to absorb a lot of that water so it's fine for me to hit that as it is now um, it's been now about five days in here drying since we did here last week Tuesday uh, or five or six days now so I'm going to hit this anyway with the undercoat it looks uh, worse than it, than it does on the camera than it does when I'm looking at it with my naked eye um, the darker spots but it's good to go for an undercoat and then it's probably going to be at least a week or so before I actually paint it with the top coats uh, which will probably be right at the end once the kitchen is fitted so yeah we're going to give it this um, watered down watered down uh, emulsion and it's going to soak in a lot of that water as well so I'm going to crack on with that and uh, let's see how we get on
this is it guys this is one coat of uh watered down emulsion undercoat um that's done now so we'll be just letting this dry out for another week or so before we're ready to paint so yeah looking good all right guys so mj's been outside he's been doing a little bit of digging a lot of this stuff is just all rubble anyway so it was sort of dug before he just cleared it all out dug it down to where it needs to be we're gonna have a gully over here connected to that drain and we're also gonna have another gully over there so there's one there and one there and we're gonna pea shingle it bury it and all that stuff so um yeah he's done a good job on that as you can see i did the painting inside so i had purchased a new van and uh, i've been waiting for it to be available to be collected we we're hoping to collect it on friday but it didn't work out so i got a call saying it's ready and uh the best day for me to pick this up is today so we're going to finish a bit early it's about two o'clock now i've got about an hour and a half journey to go pick the car up it's out of london so i'm gonna we're gonna wrap up here I'm gonna shoot off um follow me on the journey let's have a look at the van and uh yeah let's see what van i got and uh now i have not do not have to pay the eulers anymore so and funny enough the eulers came out of account today and uh which was even wasn't even that much of a bad month because um i did some some traveling outside the the eu some of the days some of the days the guys took the taxis i didn't have to pick them up and stuff like that but um it was like 340 pounds or something like that so it's you know 100 pound more than i'm going to be paying for uh for the finance agreement on the on the van so makes sense to basically upgrade and change the van so yeah so i'm you less compliant now so about to leave now i'm going to go on my own and is going to have an early one today and um, i'm going to go pick it up and then i'll catch you guys when i get down to the van hey guys so i have made it on the hour long uber journey to get down here uh i had a little nap in the car as well i've not sat down in the middle of the daytime for so long so but i've arrived now so yeah let's check out the van all right guys so here's the van surprise surprise it's pretty much identical to the van that i've already got although this is a peugeot and the van that i've got is a fiat but it's actually the same vehicle so there's a peugeot there's a fiat and there is a citroen i believe that's the same vehicle basically same body same engine same everything just marketed by the various different manufacturers so i've got the keys now so let's check it out inside oh wow i've not had a clean van in a long time but as you can see yeah very clean very nice it's just a little bit of wear and tear there but otherwise that's quite clean got a good mileage on it eighty-nine thousand miles funny enough this actually has five thousand miles more than my vehicle that i have which is five years older than this so as you can see my vehicle did actually have quite a good mileage but the only thing is that it was not ULES compliant this is the back nice and tidy and i have shelving as well i actually have storage shelving first time ever so yeah good to go this is going to be put to good work so that guys is the new van i took you on the journey so you see me picking it up um so this is the new van that you'll see in the videos as i said it's pretty much the same van <laughs> as the one i've already got but unfortunately i would not have changed my other one if it wasn't for the fact <laughs> that i had to pay the ulez fees i'm going to show you guys what i've just paid today because funny enough they took the payment today on the ulez and uh, what i'll be paying for this just to give you an idea what something like this will cost me um i think the total price of the van was about eleven thousand and i paid a deposit like 20 percent deposit or something like that and then i pay it monthly uh i think it's might be four years i think something like that um so the cost is about 260 a month or something like that so yeah it's better than paying off the the four three four hundred pound a month for the ulez so yeah well so guys i'm just going back to um just sign off the last bit of paperwork and then i'm heading down home for another hour and a half drive so yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care.